This is the N-Strike Elite Mega Magnus. Uh, this is the second in the lineup for the Mega Series, the first being the Centurion. You can see to my right, your left. Uh, there's a link there to the video review, or lack thereof, of that blaster. Um, I was really excited for this blaster coming out for a couple reasons. Um, first, I'll go through uh, just how it performs as a blaster and its features. You've got a tactical rail underneath here, um, and then there's nothing up top except for the point to slide this, and it's got a really comfortable trigger grip. There is a uh, smooth plastic on the back side here, and more of a grippy type plastic there, and a point for a sling there. This thing is powerful. This is packing the same punch as the Centurion, so one third the size of that blaster, but um, you know, roughly the same ranges and accuracy as well. I have not really had any issues with this blaster. I haven't really formally range tested this, but I'm gonna leave that to my buddy Random Shadow 9. Check out his link here. Um, it may not be up just yet, so if there's nothing there, just wait, and then when he does the review, I'll update it there. Um, anyway, this blaster has an interesting way of loading darts, in that it is literally going through the point where they're loaded it in through the breech, and there is an inbuilt magazine that these keep going into. Load it from the dart head first, then push it in. You'll notice that it starts to squish the, uh, the, the foam portion of it in the back a little bit. That's the only thing I really don't like. I feel like that even though it's secure and it works, that over time it's going to start working these darts apart. And hey, go buy a refill pack of Mega Darts. Um, clever marketing, folks. Clever. Nice and quick. They're literally bouncing off that wall over there and back to me because this thing packs quite the punch. Um, now onto, th this, is, this is a great blaster, and onto why this is a better blaster, in my opinion, than the Centurion. In a game, um, if you're using, most people are using just darts um, or discs if you're doing Vortex, but this is still not going to be your primary ammunition. So, this should not be a primary blaster. This should be a secondary, something where it's kind of a one-shot or a three-shot in this case, um, kind of a last-ditch effort um, when you need something powerful, accurate, and has long range. This guy does not deliver that, really. Um, I couldn't really hit the broad side of a barn with that when it was working, and then it broke, and then I got it working again, and then it broke again when I was even trying to um, test it up against this guy. Already you can tell, you know, there's a third the size right there. Where the trigger grip on this starts is where the Magnus ends. So it's a big blaster, big and in the way. So this is definitely a primary, but a primary based on ammunition that is not readily available. In games that I play, at least, you're picking up darts off the ground. Um, and uh, you're sending them back to your opponent. With the Mega Darts, it's tough to do that because probably not everyone has these darts that are shooting them at you. That <laughs> came back again too. Um, so this is not really a primary type blaster if you want to continue to participate in the game without getting, you know, expended of your ammo. I did a test with N-Strike versus Vortex a while ago, and the interesting that I found was there were certain advantages and disadvantages between the blasters at the time, um, but there was also the issue of when you, when your N-Strike team shot all of their darts at the Vortex team, then when they were out of darts, they had to fight their way through to go pick up the darts over there. Same thing with the Vortex team. When they were out of discs, they had to go over there and get their discs back. So, with these guys, unless you've got someone else that's utilizing these, there's not going to be a lot of these laying around on the ground. So, not really primary material, unless, for some reason... Um, in the months to come, everyone's using Magnuses and Centurions in their games. <laughs> so fun. Anyway, um, there's several reasons to, to pick this guy up over that one. It's roughly 15 bucks, so it's a lot cheaper in the US, um, or any other country for that matter, to pick up one of these guys. Um, it's not going to eat through your darts quite as much. I have not had any jams with this through all the shots I've been firing. Um, and this guy didn't even last a day with me, and then I had to fix it, and it's still not working quite right. Um, so from a reliability standpoint, this is a better blaster. It's cost, reliability, um, it's more practical to use. It complements what you already have with your darts or discs or whatever, instead of trying to take over with something that, you know, isn't going to benefit you in the long run. So, if I haven't made it abundantly clear, I like the Magnus quite a bit. Um, so if you're looking for a neat Mega Dart blaster, get this guy. Now wait, from a modifying standpoint as well, I've seen a lot of folks that have been doing 
underslung stuff, um, stuff underneath the main barrel of, uh, of like a barrel extension on a strife or underneath a long shot. Um, this is a great candidate for that. Chop this guy off, use this thing to prime the blaster, make sure you leave enough space back here to do that, and then have the trigger point be there. You've got an M203 style grenade launcher type mega dart thing of doom underneath your main blaster. So again, this complements what's already out there quite well instead of trying to be its own thing. So there's not really a whole lot I can say about my target practice blaster. I like the Magnus quite a bit and uh, it has changed how I look at these darts mainly because it's not eating them. Um, the darts are still inaccurate but it's still, still a fun blaster and uh, as you can tell from the length of this review I can't seem to say enough good things about this blaster so Go get one. See you guys. Ooh, I leave a mark. Sorry.